Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. Today we're going on an epic culinary adventure down the Flavor River. We're gonna make the ultimate steak sandwich. Today's star of the show, this beautiful filet mignon. We're gonna perform a reverse sear technique, ensuring that beautiful edge-to-edge -edge medium rare perfection. But here's the twist. We'll finish it off with a glorious sear in a carbon steel pan, swimming in a pool of butter and aromatic herbs. And while our steak rests, we'll whip up a decadent mushroom gorgonzola sauce right in the same pan. Shallots, mushrooms, heavy cream, beef broth, and of course, crumbled gorgonzola. Good Lord, this is good stuff. All right, well, before we get into the actual grilling part of this thing, we got a lot of prep work to do. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna prep these beautiful filet mignons. We got these gorgeous prime filet mignons here that we're gonna season up with the Fogo rub. The Fogo charcoal rub enhances both the flavor and texture of the protein or vegetable you're cooking and takes it to the next level. On top of that, the bold black color will be a talking point all dinner long as you try to explain to your guests that no, the food is not burnt or overcooked, it's just the rub. All right, kids, here's your pro tip for the day. We're using filet mignons. Now, they're almost two inches thick. They tend to kind of lean over and they don't get too uniform size. So you take some kitchen string and we're gonna tie around the outsides. It's a real simple way to keep it uniform and it cooks super, super evenly. And it's a really important part of this process. So we're gonna tie both of these up right now. All right, the steak prep is done. So we're gonna set these aside for a little while, while we light the grill. The new Fogo briquettes are an all natural grilling innovation expertly crafted from 100% natural ingredients, including coconut shells and plant-derived binders for sustainable and guilt-free cooking. Offering superior burning performance, these coconut charcoal briquettes provide a hotter, longer burn, less ash, and the signature Fogo flavor, a tantalizing blend of real wood fire taste with a gentle, aromatic finish that makes every grilling experience a delight. Let's talk about our grill setup for a moment here, shall we? We're going to cook these steaks indirect. So we're gonna put our deflector in Big Green Egg World, known as a convector in, and then our grate. Okay, the key to getting a nice pink coast-to-coast -coast steak is a nice low roasting temperature. So we're gonna cook it first, almost smoking it really, at a low temperature, like 225, 250, all right? You wanna cook it until it hits the perfect temperature, which is gonna be about 115 degrees. So to let this get to temperature, then we're gonna put our steaks on. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Great, the mini max is up to temperature, and last thing to do, we're gonna put our meter thermometer in so we can track our temperatures. So we're gonna set this right in the center, in the middle of the steak, just like that. Now they're ready to go on the grill. Sun's coming out, steak's on the grill. All right, now that our steaks are on, we're gonna go ahead and do some prep work for our gorgonzola cream sauce. Oh my goodness, it's heavenly. My daughter actually calls it heaven sauce. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some mushrooms, slicing them up, because we're gonna saute them. You can start with any kind of mushrooms, button mushrooms. I like these, they're baby bellas. I just find they have a ton of flavor. They're almost like a whole nother meat in themselves. For this, we're gonna use our Santoco knife. It's made for cutting vegetables, okay? These little slots here allow it to do it and not have them stick. So, it's a great knife to use for this. Let's get to work. Ten fingers, ten toes. Okay, next up, shallots. We're, this is a pretty big size shallot, so we're probably gonna use about half of this. We don't wanna overpower our sauce with shallots, we just wanted to have some good flavor. Cut the end off, give it a quick peel, and we're ready to go. We wanna get a pretty small dice on this, so here's how I like to do it. I like to cut it once, up the middle like this, okay? One pretty deep, you can actually go twice. Then you turn it the other way and do the same thing here. So, when you go to cut it now, it's already diced. How simple is that? Pretty cool, right? There's a little trick for you, huh? I mean, how helpful am I, huh? Come on now. For our sauce, we're gonna use some fresh herbs. We're gonna head out to my garden right now, clip some herbs, let's go. All right, we're about 30 minutes in. The meter says that our steaks are done and we are ready to take these steaks off of here. They look sort of like they did when we put them on, to be honest with you. I'm gonna set them on this wire rack while we assemble our sauce. Now to make our sauce, we're gonna switch this over to direct grilling. So we're gonna be handling hot stuff here. So anytime we're doing that, you wanna put on some good heat gloves. All right, I'm gonna take out the deflector, put it someplace safe where it's not gonna burn anything. And we're just gonna put our grate back in there. Now, the big thing we're gonna use, carbon steel. I love carbon steel on the grill. So, put that right on there, we're gonna let that heat up. We're gonna fill it up with butter and herbs and then cook our steaks. Now our butter and herbs are cooking away nicely here, so we're just gonna put the steaks in our pan. Look at that sizzle. All right, this is the searing version. Now, here we go, the important part. All right, this beautiful butter herb crust. 
and cover up both of them. Just keep spooning it over. And now they are done. Yeah. Steaks are there, it's time to get saucy. Let's start by sauteing our shrooms. Sizzle, sizzle, baby. Next up, add the shallots. Next addition, some beef broth. You use this to glaze it and scrape up all those bits from the bottom of the pan. And now, one and a half cups heavy cream. Now we wanna bring this to a boil and let it simmer, but we don't want it too hot. So if it starts getting too hot, we're gonna pull it off the heat, put it back on, we're gonna adjust it as we need. And once it starts to thicken, we're gonna put our gorgonzola in. Blue cheese, yeah, all that flavor. Right, it's really boiling, it's getting a little too hot, so I'm gonna pull it off the heat for a minute and continue stirring. All righty, I think we're there. Now, I made this a little bit thicker than I would normally make it because that's for a sandwich. For a sandwich, baby. So, we're just gonna take this off, set it here on our hot plate. Oh, yeah! For the bread, for my steak sandwich, I like to use a ciabatta roll. They are just awesome, so I'm gonna do what any professional griller would do and grill them. Now you gotta be careful, you don't wanna burn it. It's just gonna take a couple seconds here on each side. All right, because we don't wanna burn it. We just wanna color it. And we're done. There we go, look at that beautiful toasting. Ah, it doesn't get prettier than that. What do you think, guys? Should we assemble a sandwich? We gotta start by cutting the steak, the fun part. Let's check this out. Oh, it's tender. Let's see, is it pink edge to edge? Beautiful, look at that. I don't think it gets any prettier than that. That is straight edge to edge, coast to coast pink, baby. from sandwich assembly. We're gonna start with a layer of arugula. Why do I put a layer of arugula on the bottom? So that the juices don't completely make the bottom soggy. There we go, okay? Just gonna layer it up. Layer it up with all this tasty beef. Look at that gorgeous color. Is that pretty or what? I love it when a plan comes together. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The taste test. Well, I know, the moment I've been waiting for. I don't know if you guys have. Look at that, though. Does that look incredible or what? All that pink filet mignon, that incredible sauce, the arugula. Let's go. Mm. Wow. There's a reason I call this the ultimate steak sandwich. I'm not gonna lie, I've made this a bunch of times before, okay? The steak, it's so tender and, and soft and, and just delicious. That rub is incredible. It's like pure perfection. This is a sandwich that will change your life. Put that meat in your mouth. <sighs> That's all I've got for you this week. I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoy it. I'm gonna get back to work on this sandwich because I'm dying to eat it. I mean dying to eat it. So remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron, out.